You've got to give a horse time to do that, to work their mouth, put their tongue out, lick and chew. It, he's thinking. And we've got to give a horse time to do that. And so if we're in a hurry, people don't give their horse time to come back down, to settle, and to relax. One thing about horses is they, they're animals of movement. They move a lot. And a wild horse would be moving 15 to 16 miles a day average. Now, how much do your horses move at home? Even if they're in a big pasture, it's not anywhere close to 15, 16 miles a day. Now, some of the trail riders, they'll get on their horse and they'll cover some ground, and that, that is miles, and that is movement. But horses need to move. And so one of the first places where we can sync up mentally is through movement. So I'll just start walking and conveying a sense of movement in my body by getting tall, lifting, I'm leading, and I'm moving my feet. And I could convey lack of movement by relaxing, getting low to the ground, slowing myself down. More movement, more life. What are your active aiding indicators to tell your horse more life? Well, it's lifting and it's movement. And it's the same thing you'll be doing in the saddle. But we can do it right here, real simple. So when you're just leading your horses around, when you catch them, that really matters how they lead to the barn or how they lead to the arena. I've got to talk a little bit about the horse's expression, reading the horse's expression. The open face of the ear points to where the eye is looking. So when the ear articulates back, that eye is moving back. And when one ear goes forward, that eye on that side is going forward. And for some of you, that's obvious. The horses do it, cattle do it. Uh, it's a gauge. And I can see. So where his ears point, the open face of that ear, where that points, the eye is looking. And where the eye is looking, that horse is interested in that. So we use that. So we work on this, directing his attention to the right, and I might just get his weight back, but, and then direct his attention over to my left. Can I go further? Watch there. What's he thinking? Is he blinking? Usually if they're blinking, they're relaxed and they're thinking. If his eyes are bug-eyed and open and you see the whites of his eyes, he's probably not thinking as much. He's more reactive. So when I back him up, you see those ears kind of go back, don't they? And now you'll see some licking and chewing in there. And that's a horse that's kind of settling and thinking. And a lot of times after they learn something, they might lick and chew. But it's one of the ways that they're, they're sort of letting down and relaxing. And you've got to give a horse time to do that, to work their mouth, put their tongue out, lick and chew. It, he's thinking. And we've got to give a horse time to do that. And so if we're in a hurry, people don't give their horse time to come back down to settle and to relax. I'm going to grab a flag here. There it is. And we'll do a little work with a flag. And I can show you how I present horses, uh, how I present a flag to a horse. Now, if this were a young horse that never been blanketed, I'd do it that way. Those arena balls, you ever see the soccer? They were doing it outside. Those big arena balls, I would present this the same way. Um, in fact, we have a YouTube channel, a small YouTube channel that we're kind of growing, and I, I started a young horse. And I do the same techniques, but I start with a curry comb. And I'll show you how we could present a foreign object to your horse. We started off talking about movement and horses being animals that, that move. So start there. So if I work this flag in front of me, I become interesting to the horse. And you can see his ears come up forward, his head comes up. So some of us are a little bit insignificant to our horses, you know. If your horse is really relaxed with you, it may not focus. But I want my horse to be interested in me, but not afraid, but interested. So I walk away, and I work that flag. And those ears come up, and that's a good thing. Those ears come up. And then slowly, you'll notice that I work arcs. I swing an arc. And when I do this, he slightly crosses his left hind leg, right here, right now. That left hind leg steps across, and that's not a fluke. 
that's planned. And we call that offsetting the haunch or offsetting the hindquarters. And some people would say disengage the hindquarters. But the idea there, I'm not taking the flag and going right at him yet. Because so many people, they have a young horse and they're like, okay, I'm going to get my flag. And they look at their horse and they go, and they walk up to their horse like this and they're like, what's my horse going to do? And the horse goes, what's my human going to do? Right? Have you ever seen that? And the, the horse goes, you human, you're, you're coiled up like this, so they get coiled up. So I just want to casually mosey, mosey around. And so I could take my feet faster and bring my, my posture up, see? Movement, and work that flag. And then I cut some angles, and I start to cut more angles. I start to cut more, not right at his hind, but sort of around the horse. And then I let him stop, face me, and settle and bring his energy, his life down. So he starts blinking, he's thinking, right? If he starts licking and chewing, he's thinking. If that jaw is, just like humans, when we get nervous, we grind our teeth. It, you, know, you've, you know what I mean? And so it's the same thing with horses. So I'm cutting an angle on this side. So he's stepping that hind leg underneath. And then remember all my demos about riding with the headlight on your chest? You're going to get kind of sick of hearing that. Well, that headlight works on the ground. So when I turn towards my horse and stop my feet, that means to my horse, stop. So when I turn and walk away, I'm shining my headlight away. He understands, come with the human. Follow. Sync up. And when I turn towards him, that headlight goes towards him, stop. If I need to support that a little more, I'll lift. And I'll get that shoulder up and see he sort of backs up. But I'm, sh I'm shining, I'm taking my front side, my frontal plane, so to speak, and I'm pointing it at him. It's actually similar body language to what people do. So if you come to my farm and we meet, we walk up to each other casually, and then we stop, and we sort of turn slightly, and maybe we shake hands, and then you can tell, I, I'm, I'm excited to have you over and I want to show you my barn. And so you can tell when I'm ready to walk away and, and like you want to take your horse to the barn, you can tell when I'm going to turn and walk away and you'll come with me. It'd be no different than if you were, say, on the streets and some guy looks at you from a distance, other side of the street. Some guy looks at you, makes eye contact. And then that guy turns and fronts up to you then walks towards you. You start going, what the heck? What's this about? Then if all of a sudden that person turns and walks away, you go, okay, never mind. I guess, I guess it's, all, it's all good, right? So there's a big, when I face my horse like this, um, he's got to be ready on standby. But he, it takes the pressure off. It relieves the pressure when I walk away. So I like to use that. So if I back my horse up and say I need to get firmer. Say I need to get in there a little. So like right there, I got firmer. I walk away, right away, immediately. Walk away, movement again. And the horse goes, okay, okay, it's all good. He's not coming at me anymore, right? Working that flag, moving, turning towards him to halt. That was really nice. I'm just going to walk away now. Very good. And this is a big deal. Now if I turn my front side to him, but keep lifting. So do you see what I mean when I say lift? So you see my hands come up. I'm like a grizzly bear on my hind legs, you know. Or my, my posture's taller, right? If I turn and face my horse, but I stay tall, what does that mean? It means, yes, thank you, back up. If I turn towards my horse and I settle, what does that mean? Stop, right? Take a break. So... Use that, <clears throat> use that when you're working with your horses.